On this episode of Cox Connections, the Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce is the region's premier business organization. Today, we'll learn how this group helps businesses succeed and hear their plans for the upcoming year. Also, Southside Hampton Roads Teenagers in Crisis can find help and hope at Seton Youth Shelters. We'll hear how this organization is assisting both teens and their families today. And did you know that 39% of our homeless population is young people under the age of 18? We'll find out how Stand Up For Kids is making a difference in Hampton Roads. Stay tuned, Cox Connections is next. The centers are truly designed to be homes away from home for our service members. Our goal is to help them not just get out of homelessness, but to help them to stay out of homelessness. We leveraged $44 million in financial aid and scholarships. Boys and Girls Clubs are rallying communities so that we can ensure that our kids have a great future. Salvation Army Ray and Joan Croc Core Community Center, the phenomenal facility that will change lives. Hello and welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Emma Inman, Director of Public Affairs for Cox, Virginia. The Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce drives our regional economic growth by supporting local businesses. It also enhances our community's quality of life. Recently, the Chamber held its annual meeting to celebrate the past year's success and showcase plans for their future. Here to tell us about the meeting is CEO Brian Stevens. Brian, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Emma. It's a pleasure to be here, pleasure to see you, and always a pleasure to talk about the Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce. Great. So December 9th was an exciting day for the Chamber. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, all right. Uh, December 9th, we had our annual meeting which uh, we thought was a phenomenal meeting for several reasons. One, we got to celebrate our accomplishments for 2015 and articulate to our members the goals and objectives for the Chamber for 2016. But also, we had a phenomenal keynote speaker that day in, uh, in Governor Doug Wilder, uh, who just gave a, a fabulous and, uh, and really purposeful uh, keynote address. And lastly, we had uh, a little announcement from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce that we were very pleased with. A little announcement by the yeah. U.S. Chamber. Something about a four-star accreditation. That, that is correct. We couldn't be more pleased at the, uh, at the annual meeting. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce came down and, uh, and uh, notified us that we were awarded four-star accreditation. What that means, Emma, is that uh, we have met the highest standards of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce for local Chamber of Commerce operations. Chambers are like every other industry in that they have standards, standards which, uh, which they should strive to, uh, to meet. Um, the U.S. Chamber accreditation process is one in which uh, uh, chambers apply and they go through a pretty rigorous assessment process through nine broad categories and then they get awarded either a one, two, three, four, or five star accreditation. Now to put things in context for you, there are 7,022 chambers in the United States. Out of that 7,022 chambers, there's approximately 10% or 700 who are accredited at all. Out of that 700, there's only about 200 that reach a four or five star level. So that is phenomenal that news is phenomenal. for the Hampton Roads Chamber. Absolutely. It says that we're in the top 3% in performance in all chambers in the nation. That is it's fantastic. Congratulations to well, you. Well, congratulations to our staff. The chamber staff are the ones that took it on. They're the ones that made it, made it happen, and I couldn't be more happy and pleased and proud of them. So tell us a little bit more about Governor Wilder. He certainly has been a key figure here in Virginia okay. politics. Did he share anything with you that you found particularly of interest? Well, he sure did. First of all, Emma, it was a distinct honor for me to meet him personally and for him to address our membership that day. Uh, he is, in my mind, a, uh, an incredible individual. In fact, he is a, uh, a man of great history here in the United States, being the first African-American governor in the United States. Um, 84 years old, still uh, energetic still going and going strong. strong. Just wrote a, a new book, uh, Son of Virginia, which I'd recommend for every, everybody to read, which he gives a lot more details about his, uh, his philosophy and keys to success. But one of the things that he told us that really resonated with me was that he feels that he has been truly blessed to be in a nation and to be in a state that has given him equal opportunity to have equal opportunity to succeed. And if you think about 
what that a beautiful quote. statement. It really is. And he's encouraged me personally and private as well as the entire membership to do that with the chamber. Make sure that the Chamber of Commerce and the business community in Hampton Roads is given equal opportunity to all of our citizens to succeed. And that's one of the focus areas of this chamber this year. So speaking of equal opportunity, I know that the Chamber has really done some great work recently in terms of engaging young professionals. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? We're very pleased with that because, uh, you know, the, the, the young professionals in Hampton Roads have really, uh, really never had an opportunity to get together and to share best practices and to network and more importantly have a voice in the region. And so we created uh, an organization called Thrive last uh, July with about 10 or 12 young professionals. And, and it, took, it took on a, a growth pattern we could never, never expect. It's over 1,000 young millennials now involved in this organization. Wow, since last summer. Just since last July, we have over 1,000 now. And, and, and certainly, if you're a millennial and are interested, you do not have to be a member of a chamber. Just go to our website and sign up, and there'll be a lot of opportunities this year for them to get together, network, share best practices, uh, educate themselves, and equally important from the chamber perspective, allow them to have a voice in the direction that Hampton Roads goes in the future. That's phenomenal. We certainly want to be a region that attracts and retains young professionals. So it's Absolutely. fabulous that they have that kind of voice with the yeah. chamber. So what's coming up for the chamber this year? I could, I could sum it up by saying more of the same. Uh, we're uh, we're going to continue to keep the, uh, the the pedal pressed to the metal and uh, and push for a pro business environment here in Hampton Roads. Emma, that's what the chamber's about. I mean, we are a business organization with the sole purpose of creating the conditions so that other businesses can succeed. That means that we are pro business. So we're going to continue to pr uh, push pro business items to ensure that uh, that we have the best economy as possible here in Hampton Roads. Well, Brian, thank you so much for being here here today and talking with us about the chamber. If there is that one business in the region that's not a member of the chamber that should be, how do they find out about becoming a member? Well, please go to our website or call our membership team. Uh, website is www.hamptonroseschamberofcommerce.com and just uh, do a little research and uh, we'd be happy to have you. We believe that there's power in numbers and uh, we want to collaborate together to ensure that all businesses in Hampton Roads succeed. Well, thank you so much for the work that you do to make this region fantastic and to engage our businesses. Thank you so much for being here to talk with us about the Chamber today. Well, thank you very much. I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. Coming up, when a child runs away in Southside Hampton Roads, Seton Youth Shelter stands ready to help them resolve difficult and threatening situations. We'll find out how this safe place helps these youth and their families. Stay tuned for more Cox Connections.